if we go forward in time, does that really mean that we could equally well then go backwards in time? The way we do quantum physics now is that you put all the information into this catalog, as Schrodinger called it, or a matrix, as Heisenberg uh, called it, and then you evolve this in time. What I'm advocating, and one of the possible approaches, is to really include time into that description. So rather than just giving the state of your system at a single given time, you give it not just for all the space, but you give it for different times as well. You include quantum mechanics into your temporal description. So we can, for instance, move in space in one direction. We can go from here to Manchester, and then we can just drive from Manchester backwards. Whereas in time, the question now becomes, if we go forward in time, does that really mean that we could equally well then go backwards in time? And that, I think, is a fascinating question, because I think in quantum mechanics, there is no unique time. Every different subsystem carries, much like in relativity, carries its own notion of of time. So it is possible, as far as quantum mechanics is concerned, to undo time for one system while actually not undoing it for other systems. So this would suggest strongly that maybe some kind of reversibility would be possible in that direction as well. Sounds like science fiction actually, but maybe this is what quantum mechanics is telling us.